What's up? It's Sparks. That's Pike. That's Greg. It's Five on Friday. Jeez, guys, it's so good to see you again. Oh, my God. It's I been know. a whole week, you know? Dude. The whole week went by and all that changed is my hat turned around. That's amazing. You know, Craig, <laughs> that's incredible. Pike, you're wearing the exact same hat and shirt combination. Yeah. I know. And again, with the uh, no underwear basketball short. Wow. Set. That's yeah, like your new way. Free balling. That's good. And you know I'm doing the whole, like, pinch and roll thing beneath the camera. Oh, God. I can't see. Oh, dude. Was Sparks the one that said you never heard of that? <laughs> really? I, I've heard of it. I don't do it. I don't do it. It sounds I wrote awful. it on the goddamn thing. He's like, what the fuck is that? What is a pinch and roll? <laughs> that's not what true. No, you're mischaracterizing. No, that's not true. I know what pinch and roll is. I said, who the fuck does that? That's disgusting. You have to. No, gross. You, you might nick a ball, bro. Oh, man. I do the, I do like the stretch and scratch. Stretch yeah, I've done and that scratch. too, though. You that, know what I mean? That wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I flatten one. it out and then I get in right. there with my nail. You know what I mean? But I, I don't pinch it, and it's roll. It's a weird, like, instinctual thing. Like, I don't know <laughs> why, but you're, it's just your hand gravitates down and all of a sudden you're pinching and rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. I don't know why. Dude, it sounds like you're hitting one of those little veins. down there when that happens anyway. It's weird. I like don't a follicle moves or something. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't know, dude. I don't want to know. It sounds awful. There's That sack is filled with tiny little veins, and you're going to, like, pinch and roll one. Ah, uh, 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 Creeping me out. Yeah, pinching hard. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, dude, it's freaking me out. I can't talk about this. It's really making me lightheaded. Welcome to Five on Friday, where we're talking about pinching and rolling our nads. It's, uh, it's a special one today. Um, we got a lot of questions in. I'm going to try to fly through these things because Pike, believe it or not, again, this guy's got to go to work. You know, uh, I mean? yeah. same thing. Never has time. <laughs> never has time. Man. Exactly. <laughs> oh, let me say this too. By the way, if you want to get in, we're giving this away. Sparksradio.com slash win. If you want a free signed and framed drum head signed by a bunch of bands on the Uproar 2010 tour. Uh, awesome. I know. Uh, Bands on that tour like Disturbed, Avenged Sevenfold, Hell Yeah, that kind of stuff. So if you want that for no dollars, hit the link in the show notes or the description, and I'll tell you how to how to do uh, how to submit to get into the giveaway. So that's going on right now. So make sure you're making that happen. Okay, uh, let's go to. This is a question for me, but I wonder if how you guys feel about about it, especially you, Greg, because I know you love Latin women. So. Mm. This is uh, marriage. How did you decide dealing with the language barrier was going to be worth it? Now, Pike, have you ever dated a girl that was not an American or spoke a different language? Um, it, no. Okay. No. All right. I've dated, uh, and this was like as a child, like a, a Latin woman, but she was like American. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I, I sound like a, I sound like a dumbass right now, but she spoke in, very good English. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she could be American and Latin. That's totally fine. I mean, that's, yeah. that's how it works. Latin American. I put them backwards. It's, you're fine. You're fine. Okay. Greg, have you ever dated a, a woman that does not speak English? Uh, or well, define dated. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I've been to Tijuana several times. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah. All right. Understand. Got it. Is language barrier an issue for you guys? Not Spanish, because I mean, I'm not fluent by any means, but I can get by enough to, like, yeah. you know, pony this and your pito, you know, whatever the fucking you're supposed to say. I mean, it's not that hard to like figure out, but. I, can I say I don't really understand the premise of the question, though? Because Sparks' wife speaks, like, perfect English. Though. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like, my wife, like, marriage was, like, when I met her, she speaks English, obviously, way better now. Because, you know, the longer you're in the country, the better you're going to speak. And then she's sure. speaking English every single day. But even when I met her, she was speaking fluent English. You know, I met her in college. Right. So... My wife was speaking English. The only thing, it was really cute. The, uh, the things that she would say, she would say like Yahoo.com, like a J instead of a Yahoo.com. Oh, nice. Yahoo. Yeah, she's like, oh, you, you know, do you have a Yahoo uh, account? And I was like, oh. <laughs> Why are you gelling at me? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, oh, I was like, I, I, I know. It's, it's the amazing. best thing in the world. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm actually about to go visit a Latin woman right after this. So. <laughs> there you go. Very nice. Ask her if she has a Yahoo account. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't worry. She's got a Yahoo. I'm going to be all over it. Oh, <laughs> God, Craig. Uh, Must you all? Oh, okay. Jokes. Yeah. Yeah. Greg always has to tell me. I know it makes me uncomfortable. I think that's why. But Greg's always like, hey, 
guess what I'm going to do? Splooge at like two o'clock. So, and I'm like, ah, God. Well, it's always nice to warn your day, warn your date about it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate it. One of those famous big loads Greg was talking about. (laughs) (laughs) Famous for him. (laughs) Yahoo. Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't, I don't know what the, the, there was no language barrier with my wife. So there you have right. it. So, uh, would there be a language barrier issue? I would think, yeah, I don't understand people who get like the mail order bride type type people who they can't have a conversation with, in my opinion, like, I, I mean, whatever, if it's consensual, cool. You want to marry a person? <laughs> Obviously that person wants a green card, you know, that's, I still, yeah. I don't see a problem with that to be honest, but it wasn't the case for my wife. She was already in the country. Plus, she like, was that here. Rosetta stone or whatever costs like $8 million, dude. <laughs> you get a wife cheaper than you can learn how to talk to her. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, let's go to, let's go to this one here. Uh, and I don't know. This is specific. So top three favorite tool songs and why top three favorite tool songs and why this is from at LV Jarhead. And the other one was uh, from, I'm sorry, at let's underscore try underscore this underscore again, underscore 81. So there you have it. So this is from at LV Jarhead top three tool songs and why Pike, do you, do you even like tool? I don't hate them. I just don't okay. listen to them. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So I'm not going to embarrass myself and try to name three songs. You don't know three <laughs> tool songs? I bet you do. I bet you know three tool songs. Uh, what, 42 and 6, that one? Uh, close, 46 and 2. Uh, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Sorry. It's okay. Um, that one? Are you really? No, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm just, fine. I... What's another one? Name another one. Uh, the, uh, big the big one, the big one was boys? like Stink Fist. That was a big one. Enema yeah, okay. was a big one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did try to listen to the new album that what was it this year? Yeah. 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 Least, yeah. I tried to listen to that. Could not get into it. Yeah. No. My top three favorite songs of the new album are one song. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, you know, I think it's been out for a year already. I think it has been yeah. over a year since it came out. Twenty nineteen. Yeah, you, yeah. You guys go ahead because. Uh, All right. I don't know. All right. Well, what's your gripe with them? Or are you just not your style? Because I know you're yeah, more of an alternative too, guy. Yeah. Yeah. More. Uh, never got into like real heavy stuff like that. I mean, I, I appreciate it, but I don't know. Unless the, the singer is like a whiny bitch talking about how hard it is to, to be a teenager, then I'm not into it. Yeah. That right. makes sense. Yeah. Greg, you like that that music as well. You like that more alternative kind of uh yeah i do i like uh i mean if you're going by tool songs i think mine are probably all older ones because they got a little you know too yeah not as hard hard, you know they were were a lot faster paced back then you know so i'll go probably sober uh just because i love the intro i think it's one of the best intros of any song ever uh parabola i think is pretty amazing yeah and then probably the pot for some reason, I always seem to like that song. Too. Oh, yeah. I knew that one. Yeah. Yes. What about you, Sparks? Oh, dude. Ladder Alice number one. There's no doubt. I love Is that the, the one with the Fibonacci sequence or whatever? Yeah. In the beginning or yeah. Whatever? Yeah. Fibonacci. Yeah. Fibonacci. Yeah. This is the greatest song ever written, in my opinion. Like, that is, in a, that is the most spectacular song of all time. And I love every second of it. What's uh, it called? Ladder Alice. Uh, okay. And it is magnificent. Uh, it's like one of these songs where you just, it's got layers and layers and layers and layers and layers. You can, the more you read about it, the cooler the song gets. And it's just, holy shit. It's on a different level. Um, so Lateralis, number one. Number two, I really love the song right in two. I think it gets no love. No one ever talks about it. Uh, and then uh, my third favorite Tool song, I would have to go with, and again, it's, oh, dude, you're killing me. But it's like, uh, I would probably say Ticks and Leeches, which is another song that gets no love. It's off Lateralis, the album. And it's one of their angriest songs. But it's not, it's not just screaming the whole time, but they do scream in it. And this scream is, it's like, Pike, it's like eight bars. It's like eight measures. It's, it's he just goes on and, ah! oh. 
on. It just keeps going yeah. on and on and on and on and on. And it's I think it's about that, his yeah. divorce. That's why I like when he does it in Parabola too. There's a part in that song where yes. it's a similar thing and it's really cool. Yeah. Par- Parabola is an amazing song. I mean, just incredible. Yeah. Um, but Ticks and Leeches, it's so heavy and it starts out with the drums, which I love any song that starts out with drums. And it's one of the coolest drums uh drum parts I've ever heard in my life. So uh yeah, there you go. Lateralis right into Ticks and Leeches. Those are my top three favorite songs. Let's go do some uh some private DMs here, okay? We gotta make this quick. We got five minutes. Let's go to <clears throat> let's go to this one here. What is your favorite place on earth? What is your Very favorite broad place on question. earth? Wow. Hmm. You, you guys one? have one? Let's I switch the order up. I, I can start. Uh, my favorite place on earth is my bed. There's no doubt in my mind. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, dude, I have no right owning this nice of a bed. I got it through like a radio promotion. It is every time I lay down and on it, I'm like, this is what, how rich people sleep. Like, this is how like anybody who is wealthy has this bed and it's fucking awesome. Greg has the same exact bed. I'm yep. in it right now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> and dude, when I'm in that bed, not Greg's, but when I'm in mine, I'm like, yeah. there is nothing bad that could happen to me right now. This is too comfortable. It's it, like a cloud. Yes. It is amazing. Yeah. So that's my I'm kind of on like a, it's not my bed, but the bed I'm currently using is like a, I don't know if it's a pullout couch, but it kind of feels like one. Not <laughs> oh, ideal. No, it's really not good. Yeah. With like the bars in it. And shit. Oh yeah. man. Yeah. Very oh fun. my God. <laughs> Dude, whenever brutal. I sleep on one of those beds, it reminds me of those skateboarding videos where the guy's trying to grind and it hits his back on the bar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I feel when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> god damn pike i'm happy you got a job man because <laughs> me too you know, bro <laughs> get off that awful futon yeah. i know i got to look into one of these uh mattress promotions you guys were doing oh dude Seriously. yes absolutely dude, they over the years that's like a popular radio thing for fucking mattresses yes all, all every dj seems to have a, a mattress except me oh. I got mine my own way though. So yeah, Greg, Greg got his, his own special way. What about you, <laughs> Greg Pike? What's your favorite place? I think of my car, like that's not the sexiest place, but I feel like being in my car. I don't know. Like I do a lot of shit in there. I sleep in there a lot. I've spent a lot of time eating in there. It's my favorite place to eat because nobody else is in there. Turn the radio on, uh, you know, and it's, yeah, it's just kind of my place. Okay. Yeah. Your yeah, happy yeah. place. That's good. There's a great song a, by Atmosphere that talks about that. That's I'll look it up. Being in your car? Yeah, being like his car is his happy place, his special place. Oh, no way, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Atmosphere's from Minneapolis. Yes, exactly. He's like, my my car is my own personal universe. Uh, oh. Let me look. Uh, it's a great song. I would not have guessed that there was a song about what I just talked about. Yeah. I used to go to like... Like when it. I was in college, I would go to school. I'd pull up. I just told myself, like, all right, go there. Whatever happens after that, we'll see. But just get there. So I'd park and I'd close my eyes. I'd wake up fucking three hours later and drive home. And drive home. <laughs> you didn't even get out of the car? No, never got out of the car. <laughs> what are you doing? But, but I was like, yeah, hey, you know what? You said you were going to go and you went. So. <laughs> you didn't get out of the car. No. <laughs> Uh, the atmosphere song is called free or dead. And it's a song I listened to on repeat when I was in college. So if you want to know what I was listening to, one of the songs, it was, it's that one free or dead. It's an amazing song. It's right now. It's probably like almost 20 years old. What about you, Greg? What's your happy place? Well, if we're uh, talking geography, I'd say definitely Southwest of the United States, like, okay. you know, Nevada, Arizona, California area. Yeah. I, I would probably would never be able to leave there and be happy, but, uh, as far as like just a place, place, uh, my couch, probably your couch. Yeah. That's where I do most stuff. You know? Yeah. I watch TV there. I fucking yeah. play PlayStation there. I let's take naps there. You know, same thing. Pike does except on my couch, basically. Yeah. Nice. I totally understand. So probably my couch. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. I have noticed it. you stopped short of masturbating. It felt like that was going to be on the list. No, I always go upstairs for that. Cause I need to oh. like, you know, the bed, my bed, like does like it has like the vertical up and down and whatever. Yeah, it raises. 
Yeah, way more creative in the bed. Oh, gross. How? Yeah, the answer is Craig masturbates everywhere, not just the couch. Yeah. So that's why. Got it. Okay. <laughs> that's why he's everywhere. Uh, I think we have. We don't have any more time, right, Pike? You got to roll. Yeah, buddy. I mean, you guys, by all means, just go ahead. No, I'll just leave. No, it's sure? not right. No, no, I don't care. It's fine. I'm traveling right now. Anyway, this is all bonus. This is uh, okay. this is this right, is cool. bonus stuff. I don't want to do the show without you guys. Oh, this is extra. Well, we're it's not extra. It's a five on Friday. We're just we're you know right now I'm That's traveling, not- so I'm putting this up. I was gonna say it's some gold for fucking extra. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like you're gonna be like, wait a minute, why am I working then? I'm doing more work than I need to. <laughs> That's what I thought you were gonna oh, say. Shit. Uh, no worries, dude. It's no problem at all. You go do your thing, Pike. You take okay. it easy, and we'll we'll see you later. All right, hey, thanks, congratulations, guys. buddy. I'm really happy for you, man. Oh, thank you, Greg. Appreciate that. All right, you yeah, can no find worries. him right, on. I'll see you later. Go ahead, Pike. Leave. Bye bye. Go go. Leaving. Leaving now. And there you go. So you can find Pike on all social media. He's at Pike Taylor Radio. I'm at Sparks Radio. And that man right there is at Greg Salerno, who's laying down centrally in what is the world's greatest bed. Uh, The bed (laughs) vibrates. It goes up and down on both the feet and the head. And it's... uh, Dude, I even cleaned the windows for the view here so she can see the view and everything when she comes over. Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) The amount of thought he's put into. Okay, <laughs> never mind. So there you go. That's it for five on Friday, or should I say two on Friday? This one, it's okay. It's a short, it's an extra one. We'll be back next Friday, though. So make sure you are hitting the subscribe button, hitting the like button, the follow button, however you can, whatever buttons pop up on whatever platform you're enjoying this, just hit them all. Just hit, just, just ding them all. And then uh, that really helps out the show. And if you really want to help out the show, tell a friend. Okay. And I see you doing that. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. That's it from us, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.